Ah, what a glorious day it has been. So much good anime. So much fucking good anime. What an episode to watch. Just, just sit back, chillax, drink some tea or coffee, whatever your preference, and just watch an anime that gives us so many fucking feels. Like, as I've been watching this series week after week and just experiencing the slow, gradual buildup of the characters, and as I've been stating for the past couple of reviews, that obviously with the past episode, a couple of episodes, it's just been there just to establish the drama and the feels we're going to experience in the final episodes. And with that, this episode is the first beginning starting point of the drama we're going to be experiencing in the upcoming episodes, because the main point of this episode... Uh, briefly do a quick summary, is just Isla trying to come to terms with wanting to be in a relationship with our MC, our MC trying to overcome and want to still be a partner with Isla, and try to be with her in a romantic relationship. And at the end of the episode, we come to find out that their partnership is getting broken up. So, that is a quick summary of the episode. On paper, and doing a quick summary, there wasn't really much going on, but... The main purpose of this episode was just to show us as the Watcher that this is getting ready to start going into the downward spiral of drama. For instance, giving us so much drama to where we want to cry our eyeballs out. Now, it depends on how Plastic Memories delivers in that regard, because right now we're just now starting to get into that, and it's been very apparent and very obvious since episode one that we were going to go down this sad and unhappy path. The question is, is how are they going to execute it? That is the big, big question we all are wondering. But with this episode, before I even think about that, episode very entertaining for so many reasons, and it's just, it's so shocking. Definitely a sleeper hit of this anime season, because none of us before this season began, especially Plastic Memories, expected this series to, I say, be this good. Like, th there's some that don't like the series, of course, and, you know, it's not as popular as some series from this anime season, but this series really stands up and fights with the competition of this season. It's definitely a series I didn't expect to be this good, and it definitely is going to be a sleeper hit of the season that it, either the people that watch from the season are going to really fucking talk about and just love the series, and it's probably going to fall into the back of people's memories later on down the road. So it's kind of sad, because that's the type of series this is going to be. It's going to be like one of those little hidden gems, the judging by the way it's slowly progressing. The question is, is just, you know, how the execution of it's going to be, especially when it comes to the drama and... What is really going to happen? Is Isla going to die or is she going to live? See, a lot of questions I'm wondering right now. Because, like, is she going to live? Is she going to die? Because those are the two routes. And obvious death flags are obvious. But I could say the same for Shigasu. So, we're just left here thinking, like, what the fuck is going to happen? Because we don't know. I, I, I don't trust anime anymore. Like, you know, with death flags and shit after Shigasu. I don't. I, I don't anymore. I really don't. So, to see this, I, I, I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I've been told from Shebits last week, I don't know if this is 100% accurate. I don't know if it is. So, take this with a grain of salt. Some Shebits were telling me in last week's episode that this is anime original. So, if that's true, if that is true, now I'm even more hyped for this. Because that means nobody knows at all what's going to happen or take place in the upcoming episodes. That leaves a lot of speculation of what can possibly happen, what route this is going to take. It has many options before it. I'm looking forward to what it chooses, with the slow, gradual build-up with the characters, to the drama, to the emotions. And it's definitely still setting up for that. I, I feel like the next episode is going to be probably one more episode that does something very similar to what this episode did. And then... We're just going to have that straight up drop off the cliff with drama, sadness, and feels. It's very obvious. See, the middle portion of the series has been the build up of this moment. And then this moment is building up to that final confrontation with letting go. So that's my thoughts. I mean, that, that's my thoughts of this episode of Plastic Memories. Very, very entertaining. I had so much fun watching this, but it's a relaxing series for me to just sit back, chill, and not really have to think too hard because when, you know, I look into fate and do those reviews that god fucking hey dude like shit like i i i cap out man with my brain spam for the day i'm like i'm, I'm done <laughs> i'm fucking done like i'm done you know Ugh. but yeah you, you get my point they're just a very good series to kind of top off the day even though i have sedonia and i do have world trigger to review right after this but 
I'll do that right as soon as I finish this video. So you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. She be out.